Hey everybody, what's up? This is Rich. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a YouTube playlist. Now, it's true, there are other videos that already show you how to do this, but the way in which it's done has changed somewhat. So I'm going to show you how to make a quick playlist and also how to get to the code so you can embed it on a blog or a website. I'm on the PC Media Net YouTube channel and I'm going to just put all the uh, password related videos together. I'm viewing this in grid view currently and I'll search for password and there's two of them here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up each one and put it in a playlist and I can right click the thumbnail and open it in a tab. I'm using Firefox to do this by the way. So I'll go ahead and load the first one and pause and then I'll load the second one and pause and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this to a playlist uh, underneath the video is a playlists function so I'm going to click that and then I'm going to go to new playlist right here and I'm going to put in a playlist name so I'll just call it PC Mac password videos and click add and it's been added. Go to the next one here. Uh, I will refresh it first so all my playlists show up. And then as soon as it starts I will pause and playlist and it will automatically go to the last playlist you just accessed. So I have one video in there and now I'm going to add it for two videos. And then what I'll do from here is hover over my account name and go to playlists. And I've got a bunch of them here. So I'm going to find one I just made, which is PC Mac password videos right here. And then what I'm going to do is go to play all. This is where it gets a little tricky here. Uh, underneath playlist, I have a link for PC Mac password videos. So I'll click that and there is my embeddable player code. So I can use this code to embed it on a website or a blog, or I can direct link it. Um, if you use it on Twitter or send it over email or instant messenger, you would send this permalink here, putting it on a, a player on a website, you'd use this one instead. And uh, that's pretty much it. It takes a few hoops to jump through to get to this stuff, but once you do, it's really easy. Oh, and by the way, it was uh, very recently that the playlists did not work on YouTube, but as of this recording, they all seem to be working the same way again. So if you had playlists, but they didn't exactly work right, they should now. That's it. Take it easy.